Virtual Man and their community are continuing to develop this retro bliss space image. There's been so many changes, so many optimizations, and so many new game packs included. PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Naomi, Atomus Wave, Sega Model 1, 2, and 3, uh, Windows PC games, pinball games, and way, way more light gun games. All this stuff recently added, all optimized, all running on your PC. Probably one of the most comprehensive retro bat PC builds out there, without a doubt. And so let's go ahead and check this one out. So you might be wondering how does this all work? Well, Virtual Man has a free forum. You do have to ask for uh, access. Um, once you're in, you should see something like this. There's rules. It gives you a good update of what's going on. And then what you guys all want is the images and the add-on packs. So I'll go ahead. I already clicked images. Here's images. This is the Retro Bliss Level Up version 2.4.02. Is currently the current version. They are, I hear, getting a new update from Retro Bat. So you might get a new build. But the cool thing about this is every time there's a new build, it's pretty easy to just copy and paste over the old build. You don't have to like reset everything up. It's very, very simple. So I'm not going to click into this, but there is... Um, it does take you to backups.me. Eventually, you will have to use backups.me. And uh, the files are password protected. So do know that that uh, you'll have to get around all of that. Now, here's, here's, the, here's all the good stuff. So let's go to page two all the way on the bottom. You can see it started out with the Dreamcast, PlayStation 1, Atomic Wave, Naomi, Old School PC, 3DO, SNES CD, Open Bore, blah, 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 Sega CD, all the handheld systems, uh, all your consoles, your Sega Genesis and things like that. Portables are going to be your Game Boy, things like that. Computer system, Commodore 64, things like that. Then you got TurboGrafx, Daffy. Okay, it's just getting better though. And then you got newer and newer systems here. So PSP, PSP Minis, Jaguar, NES HD Pack. So those high definition games. I've played the Zelda on this channel before. Sega Saturn, <clears throat> Nintendo GameCube, 530 GameCube games. Uh, this is like 100 gigabit. This is where it gets a little difficult though, because these are like you know 50 to 100 gigabyte downloads each pack. You know PS2, Sega Model One, Two, and Three, 3DS. Uh, oh, oh, this is a 3D Sen. Those are those 3D Nintendo games. Techno Parrot, another big file. MS DOS, PlayStation 3, huge file. But hey, this is getting newer and newer. Wii U, uh, Xbox, Rock and Bliss, which is the uh, Clone Hero Guitar Hero for your computer. And then uh, PC games. Uh, it gets more and more Nintendo DS, Pinball, Atari ST, and more to come. So as you can see, this is kind of like build your own system. You download the main base and you pick the add-on packs you want. If you were to get every single add-on pack, you're talking four terabytes, maybe more, uh, right around that range, three to four, I wanna, I'm guessing, I, I don't know exactly. Um, you know, each pack is different and uh, they all, all are password protected, just so you know. So get access, you can get the packs, it's that easy. So I have this on an external hard drive. I don't have all the packs installed yet. I have a lot. You can see here's where all the ROMs are stored. You know, Sega Model 3, TurboGrafx, PlayStation, all your stuff is here. The cool thing about this is you can absolutely transfer these to other builds if you want, right? All the ROMs are there. All you gotta do is click this main file though here, Retro Bliss Level Up, it should get you rocking. There are some tools here as far as, you know, updates, things like that. Um, you know, if you have any issues with DirectX or things like that, you have all your fixes here. But uh, all you need to do is double click this and here it is. Uh, in addition to that, you're gonna have PC games if you do do PC games and you're gonna have a, a shortcut to your ROMs and then uh, the main RetroBat directory, uh, which gives you even more options. You can see the emulators here, things like that. But all you gotta do is double click in and it should pop up. All right, and then once it's loaded up, you can see here, I've got all these systems. You can hit start on your controller. There's different themes you can uh, you can use here. Let's try, hey, Chromie. It's on a PC. It's gonna load these up so fast. Like, look how fast that is. This is, you know, why he did it is, you know, the the Pi, he, he kind of hit the, uh, the uh, retro box V-Man. Let's try that one. He kind of hit the limitations of the Raspberry Pi. And I'm playing on this on a very fast computer, which allows me to play PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and it loads this up a lot faster. But um, it's it's just it works so well. It's very optimized, and Retro Bat just keeps getting better and better and better. Oh wow, look at this one. This is a really cool theme. 
Um, you can hit select, launch screensaver, shut down your systems. You can hit start over here. You have all your sound settings. You turn on and off music, controller settings, things like that. It's a computer, so it can handle all sorts of controllers. It could do the light gun, the send-in light gun really easily because you can use the PC. Um, there's just so, This is just amazing. I guess really where you'd want to compare this is comparing it to the, um, you know, for example, the coin ops, right? Or, or um, core or some of these other front ends. Those run retro FE. Um, and you can see here there's video First snaps. Team. So there's video snaps on there as well. So as I'm scrolling here, <clears throat> I just have to say, you have to see like, well, what are the downsides? There's not many. I think the biggest one is that it's not plug and play in the, in the fact of you do have to download everything. But if you're just gonna be playing like Super Nintendo and Nintendo, those packs are actually fairly small. You could probably get everything for way well under 100 gigabytes. But uh, yeah, if you want everything, it is it is, <laughs> it is a lot to get it, but you can get it one at a time. And uh, you know, t I love the comment that somebody posted on my, on my, <laughs> I love the comment that somebody posted on my previous videos, which is like, I bet you 99% of your viewers can't even beat 5% of these games. And they're probably right, because 5% of, you know, 100,000, <laughs> you know, is still a lot of games. And, and you know, so you're just never going to have enough time to go through all this. So uh, no need to, um, so I haven't downloaded the Sega model pack yet. I need to add that one. Um, but, uh, you know, you just never be able to beat all these games. Look at the Sega Saturn. I recently found some Sega Saturn games. Some of these are really expensive games. Like Sonic Jam sells for like $300 a game. So it's cool to be able to play these games and play them at native speeds. Um, so it's really cool. So there you have it. I mean, this is a really great build. I, you know, it's, they've really done themselves out. You know, V-Man, the community, lots of people giving feedback, and getting better and better and better. Um, you know, you can pick and choose which games you want. You have pinball collections, Pinball FX3, everything from computer systems like Commodore 64 all the way to PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, um, really crazy stuff. So um, I'm loving it. I really like it a lot. I've made videos on this in the past. I just thought I'd make another video, especially since I'm showing like hard drive builds and things like that, that this is one of the builds out there that are just like the cream of the crop. Really, really well done. Um, now they do say they're going to be updating the retro bat soon they have a the the they're working with uh you know the beta and, and seeing what the new changes are going to be and then they'll update the base image when they update the base image it's literally just download copy and paste some of those files and then you're rocking and rolling again so that's all i got to say about this one it, it's you know depending on what i want i'm a super big fan on the pc emulation you know i would say my top three are Retro FE, and there's a lot of builds that go on top of that, right? There's the core build, there's coin ops, things like that. I'm just gonna put those guys in one pocket, definitely up there. Number two is this, a retro bat build. This one tends to be kind of the most comprehensive build I've seen out there, the most gone through. So that's why I recommend this one. And then the third one being Launchbox. I really, really, really like Launchbox. Um, another really good front end. I've done many builds on it. There's many builds out there. Uh, already and uh, that's another option for you but uh, those would be around my top three I'm pr I might be forgetting one you know like you could do recall box uh, you could just do a straight up emulation build emulation station build there's other stuff out there um, but these are definitely up there and uh, that's what I think let me all think don't forget to like subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one